Welcome to Real Physics. In this video, I told you about my fascination about Einstein's unified field theory in the late 1920s. And today I'll tell you something about what really boosted my interest. Because, you know, I mentioned this French mathematician, Elie Cartan, who invented this, or not invented, discovered better the concept of torsion in differential geometry. And that's kind of an abstract thing. You might think that you want to deal with tensors and, and tensors and forms and so on, but it's not that complicated. There is a very intuitive way to understand what torsion means. It has to do with continuum mechanics and with dislocation. That means defect in solids or in crystals, if you want to imagine such a crystal. And you can visualize this in a very nice way. If you have a surface inside a continuum, you cut this surface and you, then you shift it and you glue it again together, you have produced two different types of singularity or defects, this line and that line. And then, sorry a moment, you can move, you can surround these lines, say this singularity line with a vector, and well, you get uh, kind of shifted. You surround it in this direction, and then you surround it in this direction, and then you get shifted in the plane of the surface in which you are moving. So this is called an edge dislocation. And distinct from that, here you see a screw dislocation. And if you surround the line along the boundary of a surface that surrounds that um, singularity line, you get shifted perpendicular to that plane. That means in this direction. And these screw dislocation and edge dislocations are very distinct types of defects in solids, but in the 1950s it was then discovered that this dislocation density was nothing else that torsion. That means that abstract mathematical concept became something very easy to visualize. And the guy who invented this or he, who proved the equivalence of this, there were three scientists, Bilby, Bullock and Smith in 1952 and also Eckhart Kröner in 1955. And I had the privilege to know him. He was a fantastic scientist, a very warm, welcoming person. And I take the opportunity to dedicate this video to his memory. He died almost to this day, 25 years ago on April 19th in 2000. And we had two wonderful conversations. I would very much like to have to continued this in 1994 and 1999. And from him and his writings, I learned a lot about this dislocation theory and the equivalence to this very intriguing concept of differential geometry. And well, the most spectacular thing of all is that these dislocation, they can move in solids like waves a little bit, but actually the defect is going ahead while the material is at rest. And the velocity of such moving defects is limited by the velocity of transverse sound. Think about that. And if you approach this limiting velocity, you get the very same formulas than in general relativity, if you consider the energy, the elastic energy of that defect. And that really blew my mind because let that sink in. I mean, independently, Einstein and Cartan arrived from very general mathematical considerations at the conclusion, okay, this torsion might be something very interesting that could describe electromagnetism as opposed to gravity described by the curvature tensor. And on the other hand, without knowing about Einstein and Cartan, these people discovered that dislocation density was equivalent to torsion. And these dislocations were, I mean, kind of little electrons, if you think about moving in this crystal, because you have also two signs and they cancel out each other. And all this is very, very intriguing. I talked about also in this video. Yeah, but this should be just a short teaser for you. If you're interested in that theory, I personally, unfortunately, I think that's not the entirely correct way to unify quantum theory with relativity. But I wrote a couple of papers. I was really in love with that idea for a long time. And yeah, I still think that there is something true, which is realized in nature. And you will definitely love it if you dive deeper and study these papers about dislocation theory and torsion. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.